Today we'll discuss about the troubleshooting, right? Troubleshooting on the some of the common uh, issues. So common issues, the troubleshooting point of time here. So okay. So troubleshooting in case of so in case of issues like system slowness. Suppose like the system is slowness. If the system is slowness, so what are the things we need to check it out? Or system is responding very slow. So which way system is very slow, system slowness issues. So in that case, what are the things we need to check it out here? All right. So system slowness. System is slow. It's responding very slow. It's for all users or it is for is it for all or is it only for one user or specific region? Or only it's for the all, all the users, it's not only for one region. So remaining regions are okay, only one region means that region specific uh, internet uh, or network related things, we can check it out. But it's for all, and their system having some slowness. So in that case, what we can check it out here, system slowness related things. So we can, uh, system slowness, first of all, we need to, check from our side whether if we are able to log into the sap system or not okay we need to check it out from other side whether you are able to log into the sap system or not so first check the you are able to log in then even though the response time you can see here you will get the response time here right in the here you will get the response time also very high it's not like different it will be very high it's responding very slowly so which means even you will you will also experience the slowness issues here but because users are facing the issue means you also face the issues right so definitely you will face the issue so only specific or only few are facing issue first check whether you are able to navigate to the in the system from one transaction code to other transaction codes whether you are able to navigate are you facing any slowness issues here or not so fine so the next one main thing is which we need to check it out the status of the the work process here in case of slowness related things the first thing is that we need to check the status of the work process whether are there any work process which is running from longer time are there any work process are in the private mode private mode private memory mode so that we need to check it out so if nothing is there here so if it is there then we need to check so why the work process in the private mode what exactly the user is doing is running any report in the dialog mode then we can go to al08 or sm04 we can check the common issues here what is the user is doing here what is doing here so right someone is doing the spam transaction is doing here someone right so what is doing here right so spam transaction code what is doing so is doing from longer time here you can see the how much memory is occupied right so rfc calls how much memory is occupied all the information we can see it here right someone is doing in the spad transaction code someone in the spam transaction code is editing so in case of if you face something here so we may detect the issues right so here also you can see the memories response time anything here so then next one we can just immediately go to the st22 you see are there any dumps are there any dumps in the system frequently like memory issues shared memory issues or something like the dbsql errors these are the from database related critical errors here you see any repeated dumps are not so nothing is there here repeated dumps here right yesterday also you see anything nothing just only time re illegal time related things here this one we can ignore it here right go to the sm21 check here uh, what is the status of are there any error messages in that so it will if you perform health checks correctly so normally we will detect these issues during the health checks itself only right so here the operating system calls so all are fine fine that is fine so then that is fine okay we checked the st22 then uh, sm50 any work process are in the longer running then al08 are there any users are running in the report longer running consuming more memory and also we need to check the one more important thing is here any shady memory sh mm there is a shared memory shady memory related errors here sometimes what happened the shared memory the free space will become zero sometimes like single digit digit digits the, the shared memory sh 
mm here the shared memory the free memory will come to become so like single digits or double digits means it's a very lowest priority so which means memory is very low for this one then definitely we may face the shared memory related in case of if you see any dumps shared memory dumps then we can check in the ist 22 we can check it out here okay so that is the one important thing here also you can check the response time so here applicant server what is the response time here how many users what is the response time it's very normal right 145 milliseconds it's a very 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 normal status here so system is not slow then we can also check in the system sm37 are there any so long running jobs which causing the system slowness sometimes what happens if the jobs are running from longer duration longer time so then longer time so then so system will become slow system will be slow here if the system is responding go to the check only active jobs nothing is there here right so it's not causing the act so it's not because of the active jobs it's not because of the user activity it's not because of the system it's not because of the you checked it all the areas you checked it out right sap level background jobs work process user reports right so no jobs nothing you found it every no shared memory issues everything is okay response time also fine in the system then even though a user is complaining like so system is slowness means we need to check it out the how the system side is everything is okay your side you are able to navigate so very fast so then we need to look at out the other areas like so work directory logs so then database related things here first sap side you need to have checked it next one is the db level so db level also we need to do the some investigations here why well, because if the sap is running fine means db is also okay why well, because if the db is not okay then how the sap will run right some logic so so that is the reason so db is fine then we can check the space here also we can go to the st06 here check the cpu memory and storage here what is the storage what is the disk so what is the memory free memory memory free memory percentage 46 percentage fine so what is the physical memory what is the idle time 94 percent system is idle time here free right what is the disk spaces a disk a disk space you have any uh any disk like c drive e drive f drive we have the three drives are there everything got full so response time all the information we can see it here right you can also check the previous hours utilizations all the information we can check it out here right so this one we can check it out here in case of you don't have access so also then finally still the user is complaining like that then we need to check the a11 work directory so what exactly is doing right so if you go to the work directory here we can see the work process related logs here in the a11 in the a11 we can see the work process related logs right so in the work process related logs here we can find out so what causing the issue right so what causing the issue here right so you can just check the dispatcher or dev underscore disk dev underscore icm and all those things here just to open the dev underscore dispatcher here and see the log files here are there any error messages here right so error messages here so we can see the process terminated automatically so no longer terminal terminal terminates now so user sessions so process id so you can see the what's happening in the system here right so you can see the some logs error logs from the system here in a dev underscore dispatcher dev underscore work process here dev underscore work process related logs so you can find out the all the details here right dev underscore work process related things and dev underscore dispatcher related things here we can see it all the information we can see it from here right we can see it the all the information from here right so this is the this is the thing you can see it from here right that is the thing we can see it from here dev underscore dispatcher dev underscore work process related log files here right so dev underscore so work directory main is the work directory logs checking so any file system full or not so then any network issues between the application server and the database so if you have the network team if you ask them they will check it out or we can also do the connection test response time ping test telnet test all those things we can check it out so still so the particular user then check the gateway connection table sometimes what happens the gateway connection table got full 
the gateway connection table got full, right? So now three connections, fine. If there are more than 2000 connections, then definitely, so it will give us some performance issues. New users, they are unable to, they will not log into our systems here, right? So we need to check the gateway performance related things also. We need to check it out here. So all the areas, if you start troubleshooting here, how is the buffers here? Why the system is slow? Is because of the buffers overflow, because of the what's happening. So see here, all the buffers are related to the 99, 99, 99. So which means buffers also fine. So then check the workload history. Just you can check the workload history here. So the current history, last five days history, or yesterday's history, or today's history. If you check it out, the today's one, so it will give you the information what's happening till now, right? It will give you the some information in where which is responding very slowly, high response time here, right? Just you can filter it out here. Okay, system startup. System startup is taking some time. That is fine. Then after that, above this. Then out of that, mm -hmm. different calls. Out of that, mm -hmm. different things here. So you can check the transactions. What transactions are executed during that time. So you can check the, so reorg. So time profile. In which time zone we have in the 12 to 13, we have the, some high response time here. So you can check the memory usage, user statistics. What users are very high? ID, admin, user. WSRT, basis user, Arriva, add on user, DDAC, they are the, so there are the multiple users here, right? Multiple user talks are consuming the very high response times here, DDAC, all those things here, right? So highest is the ID admin user taking the very longer time here. What this user is done it here, right? What he is executed he is the below report that he is executed, right? In this, this report is taking very longer time here, RSAP, RS log. So this report is, is executed the very longer time here, right? We need to, based on that, if you perform all this troubleshooting, take all the troubleshooting for, so in the SAP systems, then, so somewhere we will find out the, this is the issue, this is the issue, we can fix it out here. So, so if the system slowness responding very slow, system is not available. So then system is not available means, so SAP, uh, work process, we need to check it out the dialogue work process first. So even you are unable to log in, then we need to start the investigation from the uh, OS level, operating system level. So the operating system level, we need to pass the information here. Operating system level, we need to check the, so how the dialogue, dialogue work process status here. Is it all are busy or free? Why? Because if the work process are free, it will cut the user request. If the work process are not free, it won't pick up the user request. So we need to check whether the work process are free or not. Then we need to check that. So background jobs are run long run, any long running jobs. So work process status, private mode, any dumps, any, any shared memory related issues, any database level file system full. So uh, we need to check the all, all the areas. If you start troubleshooting, then we will find out the the issue, where is the issue? Okay, that's Hello, it. Sir. Yes. Sir, so for the uh, work directory, can we uh, use directly uh, slash AL 11 T code or can okay. we directly uh, go to that part like SID, sorry, USR, SAP, SID uh, instance uh, work here, directory? Here you can directly go it. So no one, no, here also you can access the SAP directories. But because some organizations, users will not get the access to the, our IT team will not get the access to the voice level, operating system level. So here also you can access the directory structures, everything from here. You, know, you want to go to the, again, operating system level. You have the option SAP directories, all are available. So you can just go to the work directory. You can see, so are there any memory, memory entry, shared memory issues we have. So shared memory lock entries we have. So like that, we can find out. Sometimes what happens? Why oh, this much of time? Sometimes what happens? Instead of that, we can download it manually. The same folder. It will be quick. More than one year day. Very bad. But we can see.
sometimes yeah so work directory is the main important thing here okay work directory is the main 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 important thing for any kind of troubleshooting any kind of issues work directory is the main important thing here why because work directory we have the all the logs are available sap related so if you start to reading that work directory log files the underscore work process the underscore dispatcher somewhere you will get the clues so where what went wrong as so well whether the dispatcher or so file system full issues so shared memory issues memory issues db issues all the information will be recorded in the work process logs so so if you clearly reading that work process logs means we can find out the where is the exact issue what is the exact issue all the information we can find out so so make a habit of reading the the work process logs and all those things here okay so that is the very 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 important thing here okay that is a very important thing the work process related log files and all those things so okay so that will do so 